In this video, we're going to explain what is Jira. Jira is a very popular tool that is used by so many different teams in so many different ways that it could be very overwhelming to understand what the heck is Jira and what does it do? Well, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and let's talk about what is Jira and how you can benefit and use the tool. So what exactly is Jira? A few years ago, I used to say it was an agile project management tool. But today in 2025, it's so much more than that. And it's really a tool for just project management. And it works for all kinds of project management. It doesn't really matter what style, framework, or technique you're using. If you have a team and there are tasks, things that your team needs to do, and you want to track that work, you want to understand who's assigned that work, when is the due date, if you have sprints, if you have epics or stories or tasks or bugs, maybe you don't have any of that. Maybe you have releases. Maybe you're a development team. Maybe you're an HR team. Whatever kind of team you are, whatever kind of use you have, Jira is a tool that is going to let you and your team track your work. And it does that so eloquently with so much different flexibility that it can be, again, very overwhelming to use. Now, rest assured that there are still a lot of templates built into Jira. And so depending on what kind of team you identify with, depending what kind of problem you're trying to solve here, Jira is going to have a solution or a template for you. And if you don't find something that fits your needs, then make sure you check out the link in the description because I've partnered up with Release Team and they are the Jira and Atlassian experts. So if you have any questions or you get stuck or you feel overwhelmed or you just don't know where to start, reach out to my buddies over at Release Team and they're going to be able to help you out. Now, so what exactly is Jira though? How do we define this? Well, Atlassian on their website says Jira is the number one agile project management tool. Now, again, I am going to replace agile with flexible project management tool because really it's a tool for project management that all teams can use. And with Jira, your team can plan, you can track, you can release, you can support world-class software engineers with confidence, but it's not just for software teams anymore. Jira really truly does work for any team and it is so flexible. You get to choose and customize what features you want and need and which ones you do not need and which ones you do not want. And you can hide those features. You can customize every aspect of Jira to make it the ultimate project management tool that fits for your team, for your process and for your way of doing work. And so it's not just Agile, although Agile teams are probably going to benefit the most because that's how Jira was built, but it has evolved to basically be the tool that any team can use. And so this is what makes Jira truly awesome and also a little bit of a very complex tool because since it can do anything for anyone, it's just going to work. Now, Jira, again, was used initially for very technical teams. We had teams like Agile Teams, Bug Tracking, DevOps, Product Management, Project Management, and Software Teams. But in 2025, any team, HR, legal, marketing, supply chain, whoever you are within an organization, you can use Jira to track your work. Now, you may be wondering, Alex, how does Jira compare to the competition? How does it compare to the Monday.com, to the Trello, to the Asana, to the ClickUps? Well, that answer is actually quite simple. Jira is the far superior tool. And I say that proudly and confidently because I use Jira every single day. And while Monday.com and Trello, which is also an Atlassian tool, but Asana and ClickUp, while they are really, really good at task tracking and managing work, Jira is going to go a little bit further because Jira is one of many Atlassian tools that together built something called the system of work. Now, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be dropping videos just talking about system of work a little later on. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos. But more importantly, Atlassian is building not just one tool, not just Jira, but rather a collection of tools that are designed to work together and are optimized to make you and your team way more effective. And folks, this is revolutionary. While Monday.com can do X really, really well, ClickUp does Y very, very good. Asana is in its own category. I don't even know what it's doing over there. But Jira is going to be a network of tools where it connects with Confluence, it connects with Loom, it connects with Compass and Bitbucket, and it connects with any other tools that you're using. And so there's a lot of interoperability 
And more importantly, it leverages the platform of the teamwork graph. And the teamwork graph brings not just your team into one single space, but it allows your team to create this environment of knowledge that your team can then take actions. And so what Atlassian's vision of Jira is, is the ultimate project management tool, but it's so intertwined with the other tools. So for example, if you're in a meeting and you're recording this over Loom, Loom can take that transcription of that meeting and create a Confluence page that's a knowledge-based document for you. But like any great meeting, we're tracking actions. Somebody's got to do this. Somebody's got to do that. Somebody's got to do some other thing. And those items, those action items can get lost in those meeting minutes. But with the power of Robo and the power of Atlassian, those action items can be extracted automatically and created as Jira work items inside of Jira. Which, by the way, that leads me to another very, very important point. You may have remembered, if you've ever heard of Jira in the past, a word called issues. And as of 2025, issues is out and work items are in. Atlassian is really, really doubling down and tripling down on making Jira the tool for all. And in fact, a lot of our technical terms like issues and bugs and epics and stories, a lot of that stuff is kind of going away. It's subsiding a little bit and in our work items and work types, and we just care about work. We don't really discriminate anymore. Jira's trying not to be a software-centric tool, but rather a people tool, a tool that any team for any type of work can leverage and utilize. So in a nutshell, Jira does it all. But more importantly, it's going to track it's going to help you plan and it's going to help you build some reports and metrics so that you can see where your projects are, where your work is, who's got the ball on what, who's got the responsibility, what work is overdue, which tasks are not yet started. And it's going to allow you to have a full visibility to all the work, not just for one team, not just for one department, but for your entire company. So give Jira a try today. And if you have any questions during your setup, check out those links down in the description and let release team help you out with all your Jira problems. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you drop a like, and I hope you now know what Jira is in this quick primer. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.